Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill. Uh, the weekend is over, I'm back home <laughs> and as you can hear my voice is totally ruined, <laughs> completely. Actually yesterday I have not been able to speak at all anything but a, a very silent whisper was absolutely impossible. But still I feel like recording at least one episode today, so let this episode be known as Humboldt's funny voice episode. Well, and anyway, yesterday um, evening I started another um, Dungeon Crawl Stones who run, a very successful char character, more or less. Barbarian, who reached level 17, got his first uh, rune, and then I somehow managed to misclick and end the game with Shift Q in the middle of a fight at the bottom of the shawls. I hope so much that this is not going to happen to Humboldt. And this would be the worst possible ending, so let's hope that this will definitely not happen. Anyways, in the last episode we got this stuff of conjuration, which is really helpful. I was told that this uh, increases the damage put out by every uh, spell that includes conjuration, which is at the moment more or less everything that we have. It's totally fantastic. Uh, apart from that, we are currently busy getting our spell casting a little bit up in order to increase our number of power points. That's so probably not the worst thing. At the same thing, I also got the hint to get the dodging a little further up. I don't know if we can really make it to dodging 30 it, as was as was supposed, but uh, that would, I think that would take a long time. Maybe we would have to increase our um, dodging value to infinite amounts. I'm not sure if we can do that, but we'll see. Uh, I'll put a couple more points on it, so we probably reach something like evasion 15 or so. That That would be nice to start with, I think. Anyways, we are still busy clearing the lair, so let's see how we do that. I think we just stepped into a uh, teleportation trap. Here we've got the spider nest, I think. Yeah, that's it. Mm, I have to take a look at the spells again to see what uh, what everything was, what we have. I'll check how much damage does the flame throw. It kills in one. And I have to check out the damage a little more in order to find out which are our most effective spells in this regard. Because um, I was wrong when I thought. Wait, uh, what do I want? Um, I was actually wrong when I thought that this was an actual direct indication of the damage. It just shows how much of the potential maximum damage of the spells we can currently do. So very likely uh, the sticky flame spell, for example, does a lot more damage than the throw flame spell, although they both have six power points. We have to keep that in mind and we have to play a little around with it in order to find out which are really our strongest weapons at the moment. So here we've got the steam dragon, for example. We don't know exactly how many hit points it has. No, too bad. Otherwise, we obviously could maybe find out. That was this one. Flame tongue does a little less. This one does a little more, yeah. Sticky flame was D, I think. That works with, for big damage. Sticky flame is amazing. little manual exploration here just to save uh, maybe a couple of turns it takes three power points to cast a sticky flame hmm. yeah. and what do we have here a whole bunch of yucks okay let's see if we can cast on them Conjure Flame first and still comes closer make it burn oh my god that's a lot of yucks I will retreat and rather do that at the stairs just set them on fire Guide them around a little. I think that should be the easiest way to kill them. Oh, Basilisk. A little bit dangerous. He gazes at us. Stop that. Oh, but he has got a limited range, apparently. I'll fireball him. Hopefully that does a lot of damage. Yeah, killed him. Nice. 
Because it also takes a lot of power points. But well. Here we go. Let's take these yaks up in small groups. Kite them around, burn them, kill them. Nice. Oh, fuck. I cast it twice on the same one. That was actually not what I wanted. Good. Worked. They drop many corpses, so we stay uh, safe from hunger. Oh my god. Completely surrounded. Burn that one. Burn that one as well. Burn this one. Oh, fuck. I'm wasting power points. I should take good care not to cast the spells on the wrong yucks, which are already burning. So, got this. Kill him. Eat. Good. Got it. But we're doing really well against such a big amount of yucks. Got him again. Now let's try to find out what that was. This giant pack of yucks. Okay, they're close to the volcano. Yeah, <laughs> the volcano. That was maybe not the best decision to do that in the last episode. That was really dangerous. I try to cast one more fireball. Um, e. Here. Good. Set the yak on fire. Oh, we're getting offered knowledge of a new spell, Bolt of Fire. Let's check that out. It's a level 6 fire spell, Conjuration Fire. Now I think we should definitely learn that. I don't really know it, but I definitely want to train around with it and see if that's a valuable fire spell. We're so good at fire magic already. Let's learn that. Here it is. G. It is not yet really castable, but maybe it's really cool if we have it. No, I can't really use it at the moment. Dodging gets up slowly, but still our evasion is at the same value. Mm. Ah, that's cool. That's our first level 6 spell. Comes a bear, I think. No, it's a sheep. Okay, sheep should not be a problem. Even more of them. Fireball was E. Let's remember that. Just cast this a couple times. Feeling hungry. There are more sheaves nearby. Ah, oh, that's a cool spell. It allows to finish them quite quickly. Yeah, but you clearly see that the Sticky Flame does a lot more damage than our ranged spells that we began with. Also, I very much like this kiting tactic. Only bad thing about it is that we need to reach melee range first. So, we should be almost done with exploring.
and we got it. So, down to the next level. Progressing through the lair. I think this is already by far the most successful spellcasting character that I played in this game. It's quite cool, I think. And it's really, really fun. I realized that when I played the Barbarian yesterday that uh, this is definitely the, the more interesting way of playing the game. Oh, there comes Hydra. That's not good. I also need to get rid of that frog while retreating from the Hydra. I think I'll just put this guy on fire. How many heads does this Hydra have? Six-headed Hydra. I want to try it. Put it on fire. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh good. Distance. Retreat from the Hydra. The Hydra is too slow. It's almost dead. Can I get it into a fireball? So, like this. Does it kill it? Yes! That worked. Whew. Good. Still, that was not an easy fight. Uh, we're still not out of it. Get rid of these guys as well. Retreat to the stairs, just to be halfway safe, and regenerate. Okay, come frog. Okay, we need to do that a little more intelligent against these Hydras. We cannot risk standing. Hey, you saw it with one hit, it took half of our HP. And if it did not burn so far down, it would not have been enough to cast the fireball afterwards. We need to soften it up a lot more before we uh, set it on fire. Maybe fireball is the spell to go for. Uh, cannot get them all. I heard these rats are really weak. Erica. There she is. A wild tempered adventurous. She has God. Teleport self. Confuse. Mystic blast. A venom bolt. Invisibility and slow. That's really dangerous. Let's try to stay away from her. Get to the stairs. Can we take on Erica? Definitely not while very hungry. We should go up here, eat something. And I think I will try to make it a little safer and go to the other downstairs. So we get a little more distance between her and us. And at first take a look at these other pieces of the map. And we don't hit them with these spells, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, dodging went up, but still not enough for evasion 12. At least we've got a couple points of armor class. I don't exactly know where we get them from. Oh, I see. We're still using this elect uh, resist electricity, resist fire, resist cold scale mail. Uh, do we actually want that? rather go back to the ropes, I think, to get evasion a lot higher. That also makes Bolt of Fire castable. Okay, okay, okay. That's something. I remember we just put that on for the volcano. Ooh. Enchant weapon. Makes it sense to enchant stuffs. Can you do that even? Don't think so. Now I wanted to check out the bolt. Which number was it? Uh, which letter it was? G. So, G. That bolts through. No, it does not hit him. I'll try it again. G. Feel your power returning? 
What does it mean? Ah, yeah, okay, we killed a, um, a monster. Or God gives us some power points back. But this met message, you feel the surge of power, means that our, our stuff uh, increases the damage we do. With the conjuration spells. Okay, getting a little bit hungry. I want to try out the new spell against tougher enemies. Okay, blink dogs. Uh, how do we best handle them? Here they come. <laughs> Gee. Didn't work. Fuck. So set the dog on fire. Was it E? Uh, wait, no. Sticky flame. D. A sticky flame is a brilliant spell against blink dogs because it does damage while they blink around. Near starving. Fuck, need to eat a meat ration. Shoot through there and get around. There it comes. D. Good. That works fine. Still want to check how that spell works. If it hits him, uh, it insta kills him. That's good. Come on, I want you to run next to me, Blink Talkie. Good. Okay, we're getting close to the area with Erica again, so I have to be careful here. Spine frog. Burn him, kite him. Okay, he did some damage. Yeah, but spine frogs are quite tough enemies. Never take them lightly. Why pick you to up the chainmail? That rope, we can drop that. Now we might still make use of the troll height, I'm not sure, but I think so, probably. Oh, oh, teleported down here. We are not resistant to electricity, that's a little bit dangerous. We need a better angle to shoot him. Oh, fuck. Oh, you know what? Fuck you. I want to be resistant. He shoots. Oh fuck. He can still shoot us from there. Uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Do we need to blink or heal wounds? It's not such a good situation. Can we shoot him with our spell? So, that should work. I oh got that killed him. Whew. Oh man. Put that on quickly. We need some fire uh, some lightning resistance on that level apparently. Yeah. guy probably not resistant to fire good. Okay, mm I'll check once again. Everything at 1% except for the fireball, which is a little hard to cast with this armor. Anyways... No, I change back to this armor, I think. Still didn't find Erica. If we meet her at a big distance to us, I almost think I would like to try if we can kill her. Okay. 
come on. Yeah, we do <laughs> really, really, really little damage if we don't, cannot use our magic. River Red is nearby, I don't care. This guy must be immune to fire, right? Fire Drake? Yes. So we use our Frostbolt for him. Yeah, the damage is rather little that it does, but well, it's okay. <coughs> I think we need another. We need another offensive spell, which is not Frostbolt. Wait a second. I think I need another cough drop. I looked the word up. This <laughs> cough drops <laughs> that I didn't think of in the in one of the last episodes. No dodging already up to level. Uh, 9.3. We could take it to 10 quickly, I think. Here we have the shawls. The shawls are differing. They are really difficult if you cannot fly. I hope we will find any means of flying before we enter there. What happens? Done exploring. But Erica's still around, ain't she? Yeah, she is. I'd like to find her and maybe kill her. Take a short look around. I might use our fireball a couple more times. Nah, it's a bad angle. For just two, it's not worth it. Need to use fireball from a bigger distance. Yeah, sometimes we insta kill these rats now with a with a spell uh, with a sticky flame. It still makes us hungry. Sticky flame has three points of hunger left, yeah. Anyways, let's go see if if we can find Erica. Very hungry. Don't like that very much, so I eat the meat ration. Come on, where did she go? I really want this duel of magical powers to see if we can take her down. But I cannot find her for... For fuck's sake. So one more try, I'll try to go through the level search for her. And if that's not enough, well then she has maybe been lucky. Or we. <laughs> Either of us has been lucky. Well, she's not there, apparently. She should be, but <laughs> you saw it. We just walked to every place. So, bye Erica. Let's go down to the next level. Getting closer to the bottom. Oh, and that looks interesting. Come on, Uzi. That's some pair of magical gloves. They look really beautiful. We don't have any gloves at all so far. Let's hope they're nice. Okay, it's gloves plus one. Nothing too spectacular, but it gives us a couple more uh, armor class points. Gladly take that. Also, we should already be very close to uh, getting some more power points. Mm. It's ordinary gloves. Yes, don't need these. Hydra. How many heads? Eight headed. Okay, okay, okay. Time to make use of our new tool. Boulder fire at the Hydra. Whoa, <laughs> that has some damage. Come on, hit it. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> just killed it with three hits. <laughs> oh my god. And that gives us one more power point because our spellcasting reached level 9. Nice. Now let's just get dodging up to 10. I 
take this meat just in case we get hungry, which of course we do. I think we've dropped some more stuff, by the way. I dropped the troll hide, I think. Uh, the ropes of fire resistance, are maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm. Ring of sustainability definitely sucks. <laughs> Throw that away. Ring of strength is also nothing that we will maybe ever use again. Uh, one wand of lightning is enough. You can throw that away, definitely throw that away and that. Got a couple of scrolls to check out, maybe why, why didn't we do that? Come on, go here to the corner and read our unknown scrolls. Silence. Okay, that means we cannot read any more scrolls for a while. Holy word. And amnesia. Now I think I will now use Amnesia to forget about the Flame Tongue spell. This spell is not strong enough to fight these enemies anymore. So goodbye, Flame Tongue. Yep. First time I wrote a scroll of Amnesia in order to actually forget a spell. <laughs> nice. The spell served us well, but uh, we don't need it anymore. We also got a lot of unknown potions, but we do not know any uh, identify scrolls. Yeah. By the way, okay, we've got still got a couple of scrolls of tap. Erica, how did you get down here? Wasn't she a level five? Can she descend? Apparently, she can. So, anyways, we've got something for you, which is called Bolt of Fire. Oh, she made herself invisible. Let's retreat until we can see her again. Direction of the stairs. I don't think she's still around. Yeah, surely not. <sighs> we don't have any means of see invisible, do we? No, we can make ourselves invisible too, but well, we do both can't hit each other. Got this. Still not sure how Erica got here. Ha! That's what I hope for. Corpse again. of destruction. Pure Conjuration, level 7. I want to learn that. Orb of Destruction sounds amazing and it's a spell that's not fire that will maybe help us. Come on, retreat from these guys. Good. Wait a couple turns. Doesn't see us. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, press wrong button, I think. Pick up these grey potions, yeah, definitely. And now, let's read Orb of Destruction. Let's learn that. Yes. Our Orb of Destruction is the new A spell. 17%. Can do lots of damage. Higher range, very high hunger, of course, at the moment. Oh, time to get conjuration further up. One more point for dodging, and then let's go for higher conjuration. <laughs> ah, on the other hand, we also need more power points. 30 is not that much in the long term. There will be fights in the future where we have to cast more than one or two tough spells.
therefore we've got really <laughs> big amounts of hit points. Death yak. Burned and kited. Got it, good. Those death yaks can take a lot. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Fuck, a couple of them saw us. I think we need fireball. Okay, that's already some damage. Half our power points gone, of course. But that works fine. I don't think they have a chance. Reach level 14, excellent. And we also got dodging on 10.5. Now maybe I take a little more. Oh. Erica, fuck. Uh oh. Dangerous situation now. Try to get in here. Poisoned. That was Erica, I think. Read the scroll of teleportation. I want to get out of here. Yep. Good. <gasps> oh, fuck. What can we do now? <sighs> Curing? Is that enough? You're near starving. I hope we will teleport the next time we move. Let's try to move away just to avoid damage by the death yaks. Holy cow! Upstairs. Go here, go up. Fuck! Oh my god. That was more than close. Whew. Oh my god. Ah, man. We have too little supply of potions. I think I will blindly cough a couple of potions to find out what they do. Potion of... what is that? Invisibility, for example, might be helpful. Here we've got potions of might. I just caught them all that we have here. I hope there's. Uh, do we already know uh, how we could? How could we check out what we already know? There was a way. I don't want to get uh, run into uh, some potion that uh, gives us a negative mutation. Uh, anyway, take a look at this first. I got the feeling that this lair, lair level with all the death yaks and Erica is still a little bit too dangerous for us. We should not go back there before we get at least some means of poison resistance. Yeah, let's go back to the dungeon. Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll try to... Oh, I'd really like to try it. Uh, I, I use the bolt of fire one more time because it's just cool. <laughs> And one more level up. Here we are, back at the dungeon, I think for our first visit to the lair. That was quite okay. There were a couple of tough fights and uh, especially this last fight against Erika showed me that's still too dangerous. If we stay there, we will probably die and I don't want to risk that. So maybe that's a good idea to at first stay here at the uh, easier levels of the dungeon and maybe in the next episode take a look if we can find the Orcish Mines. I think we should be rather well equipped for the Orcish Mines. We should be able to do at least a couple of levels there and maybe that will allow us to gain a couple of nice pieces of equipment, get our spells a little further up. Mm, by the way, I think that's enough. I want to go for Conjuration now because I soon want to make use of the Orb of Destruction, which is, I think, quite a cool spell. I think I saw that in kind of a Let's Play a while ago. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the series. Let me one more time apologize for my completely ruined voice. I hope that will be better the next time I record. Uh, anyway, uh, hope to see you again next time. And until then, 
Bye, everybody.